This is the Avid Power 12 volt um, power inflator deflator that I got off of Amazon. It can either be plugged into a car outlet or it can be plugged into a regular standard 120 volt outlet. It says the maximum pressure it can do is 160 PSI, which will do any vehicle and should do pretty much any bike. I think even like my road bikes, the pressure is not 160, it's more in the 100 range for PSI. So let's take a look. Okay, it's got a handle. Sorry, I don't have a stand, so I'm trying to hold this on. All right, so this is it. Pretty good size. Got little rubber feet. Um, let's see, we got a button that looks like it changes between PSI bar and KPA for depending on how you measure your pressure. That light is the flashlight it has built in. Um, looks like this, you select if you're doing car tire or basketball or something. There you're selecting whether you're plugging it in the wall or the car. Um, these probably do pressure. Let's see, oh, a USB outlet, okay. Got some little goodies down here. A uh, little needle thing for inflating like a basketball, a uh, little adapter for a skinnier stock on like a, a road bike tire or something of the sort. Down here we look like we have a power cord. Um, on the back, it's not too heavy. It's a care of air out, um, so probably hook up, yeah, you hook up this hose if you're inflating uh, maybe an air mattress or, or something larger like this. And here wrapped around is the car charger. So if you kept this in your trunk and you know needed to, that's what I get this for. I like to keep one in my car. If I ever have a low tire, I can just plug it in and fill it up pretty quick. Um, <clears throat> so let's test it out. And I put this back in the box for the sake of this video. Um, but this is exactly how it came down here. We've got a little instruction manual, little warranty card. If you have any issues with it. Okay. Plug this in. And let's see what we have here. So, I'm gonna flip this first. Let's see, yep. That we have it plugged in the wall. trying to get to where you can see the screen. It's harder to see on my phone camera, but it pretty clearly says zero PSI. Um, okay, that's nice. As soon as you press the plus button, it's starting in the 30s. I have another one of these with my power tool set. And the reason I got this is because the power tool set, I have to use my Ryobi batteries. And um, I wanted one that I could just plug in without having to use a power tool battery. But I like that when you press the plus, it starts in the 30s. Mine, it starts at zero, and I have to go all the way up to you know, 35 or 40 or whatever pressure I'm trying to go to. That's pretty nice. And then, let's see. Yep. So that works. And it's saying it's a 174 PSI right now because this little thing is clipped in. And, yep, it was sucking on the <laughs> little rubber gasket. So if I take that off and try again. That's pretty cool. The green light bar goes across until you reach your designated PSI that you've set for your car or whatnot. Oh. And then this little cable actually, the little air compressor pipe is kind of clipped in all the way around for the sake of portability that it actually un wraps around and it's pretty pretty long cord um you know between the power cable you could plug this into a garage and reach all sides of your car same thing with this car outlet this cord is quite long um you know 
I've, I've tried plugging in my vehicle and walking around and it works fine, reaches everywhere. Um, so very happy with this purchase. Looks like it's well made for the price, works great. Um, don't have to go to a gas station and fill up with quarters anymore. And it's got me covered in terms of filling up everything I could need from bikes to kids basketballs to vehicles and air mattresses. So definitely recommend checking this out. All right guys, I'm reviewing the uh, Avid Power Compressor. It's, uh, I've gone down to 20 PSI just to kind of simulate a sand situation. There it is. So Alrighty, I'm going to have to pause, fix that, and get back to you. I uh, have managed to find a pen that I gutted, cut the tube out, and it's a very tight fit around here, so I'm going to join that. Let's see if she holds. Looks like it's holding. So, you have to select your power source. It turns on, select your PSI, I go to probably 40, so we'll be doing 15 PSI and you click on tire. It's been about a minute and a half and it's all right, we're all about almost at five minutes, and it's got a way to go. Okay, FYI I tested this with beer and there are no leaks, so... About 33. So, I have done half my work and it's been a good 7 minutes. And it seems to be slowing down, so... It has been a good 15 minutes. just over so I'd say this is about 45 psi low so to go from 20 to 42 it's 22 bars I mean not bars psi but 15 minutes which means if you get stuck with this guy in the sand it's gonna take you an hour to get your tires back up questionable nice features not so sure about the uh, the power of this thing Thanks for watching guys. Using AC. So let's try this.
There you go. 33. As soon as I have 35 pounds of air, it's set to go 36. So, we try it. jumps to 37.5 giant piece of crap the digital display disappears <laughs> unless you're squatted down looking at it